and then we have a next question which says this question will ask you to provide a line of missing code so we have been given a screenshot of the log file which has the submitted code and the associated log notes or messages and then the question is which line of code would produce the blue notes in the log so we have two notes which say which begins with the keywords merge issue colon which are highlighted in blue here and it is asking us like what line of code provided in the four options would have resulted in these two log messages before we see the log messages let us try to see the code and understand what this code was doing so here they were creating a data set named ADSL by merging a data set named DM to a data set named disposition based on the values present in subject ID variable or the subj ID variable and also they are making use of n is equal to operator on both the data set names to use to specify or to create two temporary variables the one for DM they are creating a name variable named in DM and for disposition so they are creating a temporary variable named in disp and now let us examine the log messages okay so if we have to explicitly write some messages to the log window we need to make use of the put statement okay so and other thing to note here is we only have two log messages but if you examine the notes for this it says four observations were read from the data set dm and four observations were read from data set disp but we only have two log notes so which means that if it was written by an explicit put statement without using any conditional logic we would have at least got four messages but we only have two such messages which means that it is being conditionally written so what we are looking for in the options is a put statement which is conditionally written and then if we examine closely so here the variable name is written and also the value present in the variable is written so similarly for in dm and in disp the name of the variable and the value present in the variable are being written to the log file so if this has to work we need to specify the name of the variable and provide as an equal to sign on the put statement which means we should have specified the names of the three variables subj id in dm and in disp followed by an equal to sign after each of the variable names so if we had just if we just give only the name of the variable only the value in the variable would be printed but the name of the variable and the is equal to sign will not be printed so now we know what kind of of line of code that can be used is we are looking for okay so let us take a look at the first option so the first option says if in dm not is equal to in disp then output merge issue so clearly we know that we can only write to the log file by using put statement here they have used a statement which seems like an output statement but this doesn't write the messages to the log window so this option is ruled out and then now let us take a look at the second option so here they are using a line which says if in dm not is equal to in disp then put the standard text merge issue and then followed by the name of the variable and an is equal to sign similarly for the other two variables so as we discussed in order for the variable to name to be written and the value to be written we need to specify the name of the variable followed by an is equal to sign so and three variables are being printed to the log so we have those three variables listed here and put statement and conditional and then the name of the variable followed by is equal to sign so this seems to be the right option but before we choose this or before we conclude that this is the right option let us evaluate the other two options and see why they may not be the correct answer so here on the third option so they are making use of percent if and then percent then and percent put so percent put still writes messages to the log but so these 
messages which are being written here are at execution time and uh, of the code so here if we are making use of macro percentage the logics would have been uh, we will not have access to these two temporary variables at the time of the macro code execution so these option this option is also ruled out and then we have this final option which says if ndm not is equal to ndisp then put the merge issue this seems to be correct till this point and then followed by underscore all underscore so underscore all underscore actually dumps the content of the entire pdv into our log window so if we see here only the three variables are being written so along with the variables coming from the input data sets or any other newly created variables in the data set we will also have two automatic and temporary variables in the pdv they are underscore n underscore and underscore error underscore if we make use of underscore all underscore along with the variables which are coming from the input data sets we will also have those two temporary automatic variable values also printed to the log window or the log file so here in that in this case we do not have those underscore n underscore and underscore r underscore being presented here so this option is also ruled out so let us check if our answer the second option is correct or not yep the screen turned green and it says our response was the one which has put statement followed by the names of the variables and is equal to signs and it also says that the correct response is the same which we have the option which we have chosen